If you want to take a bunch of individual parts in Fusion and combine them into one big assembly, the first thing you need to do is create a new save file. So let's go to our Untitled file and go to Save. And let's call this new file Emoji Puzzle Hole and hit Save. And then what we can do is drag in each individual file. So we drag in each file and hit OK each time. So we drag in the next file, hit OK, drag in the third piece, and hit OK. And you might be wondering why this is in this order, why each piece is being placed where it's being placed. And that's just because that's where it was placed when it was built. Hit OK. Hit OK. And once we have all the files in, it should make sense why they are ordered the way they are, or at least why they are side by side like they are. Hit OK, and then we got the last piece. And hit OK. And then let's take a look at all of these parts. And I always like to start by grounding one piece. It doesn't really matter which piece you ground. Let's go ahead and select this one. If you look, it underlines that one. That's Emoji Puzzle Piece 9. And so I'm going to right-click on Emoji Puzzle Piece 9 and go to Ground. And now this part can't be moved. The rest of the files can all be moved. But I don't want them to move in any direction. I only want them to move in the X and Y direction. And so let me go to my top view, and let's look at each piece, and let's drag them around. And so it's clear to me that this piece will be above this piece, and so just move it over and above. Then we can bring this piece over here. It's clear it's going to go like this, and then this piece looks like it's going to be the bottom right of our circle, and then this piece is going to be on the side, and this piece is going to be over here. And we could have done this from our home view, if you think about it, but the only problem is, is it starts to go above and below the other pieces and I don't like that and so I like to go from the top view when I'm moving this kind of puzzle and just sort of put them all in the correct place it looks like I lost some piece it looks like I didn't drag one of them in and if I look over here we can kind of see one two three four five and oops looks like I missed emoji puzzle piece six so let me drag this piece in and hit okay and then let me drag this piece where it goes as well and so now I've got it kind of where I want it. Now I can start actually assembling this thing. And so let me go to my Assemble drop-down menu and find the Joint command. If you notice, if you just hit the J button on your keyboard, that will do the exact same thing. And what it's asking right now is, do you want to put your pieces back where they were when it started, or do you want to keep them where they are? So if you hit Continue, you'll put them back where they were. I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to try it again. I'm going to go to assemble, go to joint, and this time I'm going to hit capture position just to keep them where they are. Now, if you notice, I can't select my grounded piece. It's stuck where it is. At least I can't select it at first. The first piece you select is the piece that will move. So, for example, let's select this piece, but let's find the side, and then we'll find the center of that side. So you'll see that the circle will magnetize to that square in the center. Once I get it there, I'm going to click. Then I'm going to turn my view cube around to say what I want to connect it to. Well, I want to connect it to the center of my grounded piece. So if I click there, you'll see that it comes in. And I'm going to go to my motion. I'm going to make sure I have rigid selected and then go back to position. And what I can do is I can now move it if I want to. I don't want to. I want it stuck at zero in all directions. And I'll hit OK. And then I've basically gotten started right now I can go back to assemble I go to joint and I can start working on the next one so for example I can assemble this piece right here so I'm gonna click on the center of that face and what do I want to connect it to well I want to connect it to my grounded center piece and so I'll go over here and I'll find that center and click and you'll see that it'll assemble I'll hit OK and now I've got two pieces okay let's do one more we'll go to assemble we'll go to joint and let me see I want this piece to obviously connect to this piece right here. Now you'll notice that this piece moved. Don't stress about that. It doesn't stay connected to these pieces at first, but once I hit OK, you'll see that it'll move back to connect to my grounded piece. 
So from here, you should be able to finish this assembly on your own. It's pretty simple. And when you're done, make sure you hit the save button.